paint because I'm asked to. Who I'm asked to paint by, I have no idea. But I paint and then they come out, whoever they are. Um, if you're right-handed, it's the right hand that shows the changes. Um, so in my case, I'm right-handed. So the le my left hand shows, um, you know, what I'm born with, basically, what my destiny is. What I've what I've found in the in the past when I've actually read people's palms and I've said to them, you would you would be quite a creative person, really, or you seem to be. Quite often people say, their reaction is, yeah, I really am. I, I know I am, but I've not ever done anything about it. And I, you know, I've heard that a lot. And I guess the advice would be is that if, if you know that kind of stuff about yourself, then then go with that. You know, don't don't go with what you're told to do or, or what, you know, what's considered to be the right thing. Go with, with your gut feeling. Um, and I think, you know, my belief is that you, you, you will be looked after. It was told to me that by somebody a long time ago. That if you, follow what you're supposed to be doing then, then something will look after you um, so I think that's what happens uh, I was 30 and I was now living in Cornwall when I was working for um, Anthony Estate the National Trust as a gardener and one night I decided that I needed to paint um, that it was not enough to be drawing I need to paint and I also need to become an artist it was uh, just like that it was black and white there was no there's no choice about it I just had to do it so I've got no idea at all what, what I'm gonna paint I just start putting paint to canvas um, and then whatever happens tells me what I'm gonna paint the first canvas I painted was more or less an automatic painting so um, I realized very quickly that it wasn't all just my conscious working on the on, on the canvas Suddenly, the whole original painting disappeared, and I was into this um, masses of faces, um, and I wasn't actually um, doing anything other than applying paint. And as I was applying paint, so the faces were coming through. But things things are totally happening on their own. I haven't um, painted any of these intentionally; they've been painted automatically. Um, where have they come from, and what are they about? Because um, I don't, I, I don't even recognise most people. I don't recognise any of these people. Uh, they could be souls. They could be just um, parts of my subconscious. I've recently been in touch with uh, an, a Native American woman in, in um, and I've sent her a few paintings, and her reaction was that I was, I was painting with uh, my third eye, and also that I'm connecting with. Um, the other world basically so that was that was nice to hear from her because she was sort of saying that's part of her culture where that's the kind of thing that artists in in the past within the tribe would have been doing anyway um, and so that kind of makes some sort of logic sense to what I'm doing because uh, generally it's kind of a bit out there and if I'd stayed a gardener I think I would be um, very unhappy now I'd, yeah, I'd just be bitter and twisted, really. I, it just, I just wouldn't be the right person. Um, and I can't imagine it, really. I can't imagine that I wouldn't do that, um, you know, make that change. <laughs>